Hello, and God bless you, and thank you for joining the sermon today. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Richard Hunt. I live in Chesapeake, Virginia. I've been living here since 1988, and I own and operate a landscaping company. Plus, I am a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm taking this to a new level. I want to teach and build a virtual church, in a sense, on YouTube. A place that people can come where there's not a pastor or where they want maybe a teaching during the week. And it was never my intent to do it daily. But sometimes what we want to do or plan to do it's not God's plan for us. And God had a different plan for me. And I said, okay, I'll do it. And I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I say, God, I don't know what to teach. And God said, well, I do. That's the way life is at times. Please like and subscribe for this will help me to monetize my YouTube channel. And with the money, with the funds, honestly, what I'm planning on doing is evangelizing, getting out there and evangelizing. I want to raise up missionary teams that are going to the four corners of the earth to minister to people and also to minister to them. That's what it's all about, giving people light in this dark world that we live in, giving people hope, giving people an opportunity to believe God. There's a lot of people out there that just don't know God, or there's inadequate teachers out there that are not teaching, they're teaching a deluded word. Some people are even doing it for money. And there's a lot of money in running a mega church and doing that. But really, the heart of God's word is the word of God, hearing the word of God. And that's what I want to do. I want to give an undiluted version of teaching to those that would like to listen that will enlighten them and help them in their journey day by day. And that's why I do it day by day. This day, as I said to you, I told God, I don't know what to teach every day. So sometimes when we don't know, we have to reach up and say, God, what's next? And we have to listen to that small, still voice that God speaks to us and follow through with him on doing what he has for us. So the word of God tells us in Acts to go stand and preach to the people all the words of his life. The word of God, the Holy Bible, is life giving to the soul of people in need. I wasn't planning on going off on this, but thank you for listening. So now you know more about me. Now you know my intention. And I have I need 17 more people to join. And then I subscribe to my channel. And then I have the 500 that's necessary to monetize my YouTube channel. So if you would help me, that would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Take your Holy Bible, please, and go to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. It will tell us, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, not only exceedingly, but abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us, that worketh within us in us the what i want to really establish here is the power the power the power again power how many people here want power 
Raise your hand if you do. Oh, God, we have everybody in the room raising their hands. Thank you so much. Uh, with that being said, how do we get it? How do, we, how do you want to get it? Well, I know that secret, and I'm going to reveal it before it's all over. If you will, go to Job chapter 3. Not Job, Job chapter 3, verse 25. 325. For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. Bear with me on this. In 2 Timothy 1 7, go there, please. I'm sorry for skipping and dancing in the Holy Bible today, but we sometimes have to have to to get the message. And I want everybody to understand this. 2 Timothy Timothy 1 7 God tells us for God hath not given us the spirit of fear spirit fear is there a fear spirit yep but a power and of love and of a sound mind we're going to get back to the fear spirit let me ask you this is fear an energy Let me ask you this. Is power energy? Think about fear being negative energy. Sometimes there is, is a healthy respect to have fear. Do not put your hand in the fire or you'll get burnt. You put your hand in the fire, you get burnt. Do not go swimming in the shark invest, invested water. It's good to be have safety mechanisms. You know what's going to happen if you jump off a cliff without a parachute. You know what's going to happen. Fear is healthy. But the spirit of fear, look at the media. Let's use the media for, for an example. The fear. The fear of a recession. The fear of lack, the fear of bad things happening to you. Fear, there's also the spirit of fear, which is negative energy. Don't give in to that as Job did. Be plugged in to the power source. The power source is the Holy Bible. We have to read it, for, for folks. We have to read it daily. We have to make time for God daily. And God, that's the way we get plugged into the power and recharge ourselves. Like the our phones, we need to be plugged in to sometimes charge. Not sometimes, we need to do it daily. We need to make it a habitual habit. I'm addicted to read in the Holy Bible. We have to have that attitude. I'm a junkie for Jesus, okay? So we have to believe, and that's the way I believe it, to overcome our trials and tribulations that we have. We have to be have faith. God tells us in Romans 10, 17, so then faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of God. It's, it's good to hear the word of God. I applaud that. Anybody who wants to hear it, there's audio versions on the Holy Bible that actually reads without, you know, giving you a diluted part to it. But that's good. But reading the Holy Bible builds your faith. Hey, I need some energy today. Let me go read the Holy Bible. For me, what works is I took my Holy Bible, I took the pages in it, I divided it by 365 days, and I have to read five pages a day to read the Holy Bible in a year. And it works for me. 
I used to just say whenever I have time during the day, I'll read it. That doesn't work for me. Maybe it works for you. But what I do now is this is the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning. I read the Holy Bible. Well, I make some coffee, too, before I read it. And as I'm reading it, I'm drinking coffee. So, But don't tell, okay? But anyway, in 1 John 4, 18. 1 John 4, 18. It tells us there's no fear in love. There's no fear in love. And that's the way we get rid of it. We start building our love. But perfect love cast, casteth out fear. Because fear hath torment. It's negative. You see, that's what I'm getting at. It's negative energy. It, it hath torment. Love is a positive energy. Love never faileth. Love gives. Love heals. Love nurtures. Fear rips you apart, tears you down, makes you feel like you're no good. But you're the best because God loves you. He, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. If you have fear, you're human. But we can manage it. We can manage it. We can manage it. And we manage it by putting off and putting on the Word of God in our life. And this day before I leave, I would like to say thank you so much for getting this far. Please like and subscribe. And also please take time out to pray today, to read the Holy Bible, to tell somebody you love them. Do something good today for somebody. God bless you. I love you. And thank you.